right here. Holders of the world best time. No one's ever been faster than they have. But that was 10 years ago. And whether they can show that pace again here at the Olympic Regatta remains to be seen. We're now into the second half of this women's pairs race. And uh, really the two English speaking crews at the head of the field starting to set themselves apart from the rest. Glover and uh, standing on Great Britain have just under a length of Arctic, so that's just under one boat slip in this pair head of the United States. Almost 1,500 metres gone of this, the very first race of the Olympic programme, the women's pairs. And it's Great Britain, still well clear of the rest of the field, together with the United States. Clear water back then to the legends of women's rowing in Romania, the Romanian crew. Look for those red caps on their head in lane one. That's the lane closest to all the many flag-waving participants, or spectators, I should say, mainly waving Union Jacks. I a huge British fan turnout. We're now approaching the further the seated areas and I'm sure that uh, the Great Britain crew in particular will have a big, big lift. But uh, plenty of applause for all these athletes. It's the creme de la creme here in uh, Beaton Dawny this week. Some of the entries may sound fairly small, just eight entries for the eight. But that's eight out of 130 plus nations worldwide in FISA, the International Road Federation, who could be here. So the absolute creme de la creme. And that's true of the women's pairs as well. A great performance by Great Britain in the United States at the moment. United States, uh, Sarah Hendershot. And uh, Sarah Selenka doing extremely well. They're not letting Great Britain get away with anything. 250 meters to go to the line. Clear water back to the Romanians who are winding it up now, but they've got a big, big back gap to close. However, we will be seeing all these athletes again in the next round, which will be a repertoire for the Romanians, the Argentinians and Germans if they can't close that gap up. Here we are on the big screen. You can see the margin of that lead. Very smooth and a controlled aggression from the British pair. It went out to it at a fairly early stage in this race. Lots of reach, long work through the water. Never let themselves be uh, uh, ruffled by anything, neither by the attacks of the Americans, nor by the ripple on the water, and driving on all the way towards the line. Great Britain now just uh, short of the line. It's going to be a straight qualification to the A final for the Great British pair. Just looking over her shoulder, the bow woman Helen Glover. She's there. The line of bubbles, the toot of the line that you may have heard. The United States coming second. That's an A final yeah. score. Then on Wednesday. Now bringing up the rear. 